Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. So today's video, the natural hair is out. The natural curls, my fro. It's just, it's out today, out to play. And this video is a very dramatic look, if you could not tell by now. I mean, it's smoky eye, wing liner, red lips, like mega highlight. So if this is not the kind of makeup you're into, then this is probably not the tutorial for you. But I do have other videos that you guys can check out if this is just a little bit too much for you. But if you're like me and there's no such thing as too much, then you can continue watching. In this video, I am using this indie brand that I remember I I have posted it for sure on Instagram, but I don't recall ever using it on my channel and letting you guys know about it. And it's super popping. So I don't know why the hell I've been waiting so long to do a video using the products on my channel. But um, yeah, it's an indie brand. It's super affordable and the quality is amazing. Everything I'm wearing on my face is not from the brand, but my eyes, my, my brows, my brows my hair's all over the place but my eyes my brows and my lips are all from this like indie brand that I'm using and indie just means like um it's like a small business you know it's not sold in Sephora or none of that um but yeah I hope you guys really enjoy this video let me make this clear right now because a lot of people like to just assume this video is not sponsored and you guys know that i like to rotate my videos some of my videos i use a lot of high-end stuff some of my videos i use more affordable stuff this one is one of those mixed in between videos it's something that i genuinely like and i'm just trying to put you guys onto something new just in case you have not heard of this brand so yep i hope you guys enjoy it and we're gonna get started and if i had lipstick in my teeth during this whole intro I already recorded it, so I'm not going to clean my teeth because I really don't want to redo this. So don't judge me, please. All right, let's get started. Jumping into priming my eyes, I'm going to go in with the Shape Tape Concealer in the color Light Neutral. Now onto my eyeshadow. I'm going to go in with the Reina Rebelde Tapatia Eyeshadow Quad. And I'm going to take that neutral color right there. And I'm going to apply that into my crease. These shadows can also be worn wet or dry. So you have a lot of play with it. Next, I'm gonna take that gray shadow and I'm going to apply that also in my crease because we're gonna be doing a really dark smoky eye and I want basically the black eyeshadow to transition smoothly. So now onto my lid, I'm obviously gonna be taking that black shadow right there and I'm going to apply that all over my lids. Then I'm just gonna make sure that everything is blending in smoothly. Now onto my liner, I'm going to be using the Reina Rebelde Zapatista Liquid Liner. And if you could not tell by the name of the brand or also the name of these products, this is a Latina owned brand, if you guys were wondering. Moving on to priming my face, I'm going to go in with the Frisali Unicorn Essence Liquid Primer. Apply a few drops and then I'm just going to massage that in. Now onto my foundation. I'm going to be using the Huda Beauty Latte Foundation and the Amor Ready Foundation. I've said this in a few of my videos. I mix these two because one is too light on me, the other one is too dark on me. So I have to mix the both of them in order to get the best color match. Thank you. 
Now to highlight my face, I'm going to use the same shape tape that I used on my eyes, which is in the color Light Neutral by Tarte. Now I'm just blending everything in and yes, I really like blending with brushes lately. I haven't used a sponge in a few months, so brushes have really been like my go-to thing. Once everything is blended out, then I'm just going to press it in with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. Now to set the rest of my face, oh my powder is already hitting pan. It is the Sephora Matte Perfection Neutral Fawn Powder. Now onto my blush, I'm going to go in with the Saharan Blush Volume 2 palette by Juvia's Place and I'm going to take these two colors right here, the dark one to bronze, the coral one as blush. And whenever I contour my nose, I always put some powder over it just so the contour is not as harsh. Now onto my highlight, I'm using the Huda Beauty Winter Highlighter Palette and I'm gonna go in with the blue highlighter, which is Arctic Glow. And this highlighter definitely blew my mind. Like, it is ridiculous, but honestly, every highlighter Huda has came out with has been insane. And if you haven't tried it, I definitely recommend you guys try it. Now I'm just going back to my eyes and I'm going to go in with the Makeup Forever Aqua XL Black Pencil Liner and I'm just going to apply that into my waterline and right up top. With the same exact black shadow that I'm wearing on my lid, that's what I'm going to apply on the outside of my waterline to smoke out my liner. And going in with highlighting my inner corner, because you guys know I cannot go without it, I'm going to take that silver shadow and apply it right onto the inner corner. Then I wanted to kind of point my liner a little bit more on the inner corner, so I'm just taking a gel liner, which the one I'm using is a little black dress gel liner by Motives, and a really, really thin brush, and I'm just bringing the liner a little further out. Moving on to mascara, I am using the Dior Show Mascara. And the lashes that I'm using are the Lux Lily Lashes, and I have a discount code, which is Viva Glam K, but that'll also be in the description for you guys. Now onto my brows, I'm going to be using the Reina Rebelde Perida Brow paint this brow paint could also be used on the eyes i've used it as eyeliner before and it is a gorgeous so you can use it as a brow paint and basically play it as a gel liner as well Thank you. 
Now onto my lips, I'm gonna go in with my Persali 24 karat rose gold elixir to moisturize these lips because with all that makeup sitting on it, they are a little dry. Then I'm gonna go in with my Reina Rebelde Brava Bold Lip Color. I really like this because I feel like it could play as a lip liner and a lip color because I have worn some of these just as lip liner and not like fully on the lips, but you can wear it fully on the lips as well. So you can play a lot with it. And of course, I always get lipstick on my teeth. Never fails. Then I'm just going to go in with some gloss to give it a little bit more of a pop. I'm using the Enchufada Lip Gloss by Reina Rebelde. And then after that, we're all done. Thanks for watching, guys.